Hey, Dr. Fahey, what do you see as the most significant trends right now for both molecular imaging and nuclear medicine? Well, I think there's a few interesting things that are, that are going on in this meeting. One of the things that has spurred a, a lot of discussion this year um, this, at this meeting has been, uh, you know, the recent approval of uh, amyloid imaging agent, and so there's a lot of interest, a lot of uh, talk about that, and so I think that that's one thing is, is um, um, brain imaging is very big at this meeting, a lot of abstracts and a lot of, uh, of um, buzz about that mm -hmm. as well. In addition, uh, one of the things that uh, I've seen in the, one of the bad things about being president is you don't get to go as, to ma as many sessions <laughs> as you would like, but uh, is uh, the introduction of a new therapeutic nuclear medicine agent that's uh, alpha-based, which I, which I think is very unique uh, for treating metastatic um, uh, um, prostate cancer. So, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I saw some a couple of abstracts on that, and that, that was very interesting and very promising, and should be available in the United States in the, in the next in the next few months or within the next year. So mm -hmm. I think that the different things like that, and this touches on a little bit on our, you know our banner issues. We sort of you know as, as looking at our strategic plan and looking at our plan ahead, we've sort of identified trying to promote new agents. There's been several that have come out in the last year. I've just named a couple. Um, new th uh, radionuclide therapy, um, which we just talk, touched on as well. Um, promoting molecular imaging, in addition to those that are not radioactive, trying to um, be involved more. I think we're seeing more involvement in abstracts in our meeting on optical imaging or optical imaging in conjunction with radioactive imaging. And then the third thing is, as we talked about before, is trying to improve what we call quality safety um, and value of nuclear medicine. We touched a little bit earlier on uh, dose optimization, but just how do we show or prove that what we do is of value? And so I think these are um, sort of themes that I see at the meeting and, and that the um, Society of Nuclear Medicine is very interested in moving forward. Thank you very much for sharing so much information about the Society and what's going on in the show. Uh, if somebody wanted to get more information about the Society, uh, well, it, it's my pleasure um, to, to be able to chat with you today, and uh, you know, they could go to our website, snm.org, and they will have an opportunity as well if, if, for those folks who have not been able to come and take advantage of the beautiful Miami <laughs> Beach uh, water and sun, um, can go to our virtual meeting, where oh. I, I think 70 of our sessions have been recorded um, and will be available, and that they will be able to partake a little bit. I don't know that they'll get this, the idea of the ocean in, through the virtual no. meeting, but they will be able to take part in some of the scientific and, and educational um, sessions that we had at the meeting. And then they would find that at your website as well. Yes, that's on our website, okay. snm.org. Okay, great. Well, thank you again. Well, thank you very much.